Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be creating this embellishment suitcase. Super, super cute, super easy, and so many options. You have an option. You have um, a two compartment, four compartment, or eight compartment option. And this is what we're going to be creating today. Um, I will be using this collection called Party Animal from 3craftchicks.com. And this was... Um, designed by doodlebug design and i will also be using these um birthday sentiments from chaos crafts do not worry i will be linking every everything down below for you and everything all the measurements will be in the description box so let's get started it's gonna be so much fun Okay guys, so first ingredient is your base card, which is the base of the embellishment suitcase. So you're going to be needing a 9.5 by 12 inch of paper. And at the 9 inch mark, you're going to be scoring at 1 and 1 fourth, 1 and 3 fourths, 7 and 3 fourths, and 8 and 1 fourth, okay? After that, you're going to turn it and at the 12 inch mark, you're going to score at one and one fourth again, one and three fourths again, four and seven eight, five and three eight, six and five eight, ten and three fourths. Okay, so. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to burnish it. Okay, so let's burnish. I would suggest that you use your bone folder because um, it is important that you get it burnished correctly, especially if you're using a 110 pound cardstock, which is what I'm using. I'm using a Park Lane um, cardstock paper, and this is from exclusive from Joann's. So this is what our box looks like right now. Next, you're going to create you're going to create um, a window, and you will be using your um, your ruler with this, as well as your blade. So you're going to create a window, and you're going to you're going to notice that it's going to be there's inner score marks and outer score marks, and you're going to connect both inner score marks. After you cut your window, you're going to need an acetate that is 7 by 4 inches. And that would be the perfect size for your acetate. Um, obviously, this one is optional. You don't have to necessarily do this if you don't want to create a window option or you don't have access to any acetate. That's absolutely fine. If you don't have acetate and you have tool, that is also an amazing option. You can find tool at the Dollar Tree. Um... So I like acetates, um, but you can do acetate shaker if you want to. That would be super fun also. Right there. So now we have that right there. After that, we're going to, same as how we do it normally, we're going to cut the sides. And this is how you're going to do this to create your tabs right there. Do the same thing for the middle tab. And I'm going to show you how to do it on one side. And I'm going to do the other side offline. Because it's exactly the same. And same thing here. You guys, this is super, super easy project. And you can customize it to whatever season that you have. Now that we have all the parts cut, this is a 7, I hope you can see it. It's a 7 by 4 inch acetate. And it fits perfectly right here. And so what I want you to do, I'm going to cut a sliver off of it just to be on the safe side. And when I say sliver, I mean 1 16th or 1 8th of an inch is good enough. Just so, because this is the exact size of the box. And by cutting a sliver off of it, you make sure that it doesn't mess with your, um, your sides. So this is perfect, perfect. And then you're going to, what I use my glue gun for this one. Again, an option, another option for this is tool. 
and it would also be cute if you make a shaker option for this one that would be so cute shaker or um like a tool a shaker tool also would be absolutely adorable i think right there and then so you do that and you attach that um, at this point, I would like to suggest that if you want to put some decorative paper on here, obviously if you've used um, like pattern paper, then you ha you can skip that part entirely. But if you used if you use plain cardstock like this, this would be the best opportunity for you to attach your decorative portions. And I'm gonna do that offline so you don't have to be bothered by that. Um, it's going to be super, super cute, I think, to decorate it like birthday or something. So let me do that real quick. And then when I come back, we're going to assemble it together. Okay, so now that I've covered my top box, um, we're going to assemble the base. We're going to assemble the bottom part first because that's the first thing that you do, right? So assemble the bottom and then assemble the top. So the same exact thing what we normally do with our 3D projects. You start putting the glue on your tabs. One tab at a time. I use my Sure Bonder for this one. Um, normally I use my Sure Bonder with like the base. And then I use my Barely Arts glue for all the detail work. Normally, normally. Um, it is good to... To have a variety of options when it comes to adhesive and i love 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 that um okay so next this is the last part i made a boo-boo over there but that's okay so right there so that's that um next is you assemble your um top of the box or the the top portion of your box so we always do this we always assemble the bottom first because it allows us to make sure that it folds perfectly that is my number one tip for you when you make 3d projects and then and then you go do the top because the top has to be the top part of your box is dependent on the bottom part right there so that is done. This is your embellishment suitcase. So now we're going to put the um, compartments. For this tutorial, I am I will be putting all the details in the description box for you. The options, for example, if you want to do two compartments, four compartments, or eight compartments. For right now, um, every single one of them I will put in the description box below. However, for right now, we're going to be doing the eight compartments. And all of the details are going to be in the description box below. Every single one of these sheets and all of the parts, it will be scored one inch on all sides, which makes it super, super, super simple. So one inch on all four sides. I'm going to show you how to do just one and we're going to assemble it. But this is the exact thing that you're going to do. And I have provided all the measurements for you. Score one inch on all four sides. You burnish it just like this. And you cut your tabs. You're going to do this for all of your eight. You're going to notice that the options will be two, four, and eight. And everything is assembly and construction is exactly the same for all of them. And the only variety that we have is the sizes of the base paper. But everything fits perfectly in your embellishment suitcase. Um, if you don't want to make it a suitcase and you just want to make it into a simple box, that is not a problem at all. So you're going, you're going to have to fold it like, if you want this to be what's showing, this is how you fold it. I don't like the ice cream showing. I prefer the sprinkles. So this is how I'm going to construct it just like that. So same as before, you just get your tabs right there and you attach simple, simple. And you're going to do that eight times. I think I like this embellishment box because it gives you options on how many compartments you want and it's already pre-measured for you. So you can just choose what you want to put in the embellishment. You don't even have to have compartments if you just want a suitcase and you just want to put something big in there like a pair of socks, gift card, etc. or a, sh a small shirt. Um, it's up to you. But these compartments are available for you because... Um, this was created to become an embellishment box. So this is how you create it. And you're going to do this eight times. Okay. So let's do all that. 
So you guys, this is how you assemble it. Super easy, same as before. You just add your glue and you attach and you're going to do the exact same thing on all four sides. Glue, glue, glue right there. All four sides and it looks super cute. Be mindful that be mindful of like what you want to be showing in the box. Like, look, I made a mistake on this one. So that's okay. <laughs> I'm going to replace it with this. So be mindful. That's why I'm creating another one. Because this one, I totally missed that. Anyway, I don't think it matters. Um, I'm okay with it. Next one is we're going to do the handle. And the handle is 1 and 3 fourths by 8 and a half. And we're going to score it at 7 eighths of an inch. Okay. Right there. And you're going to burnish very well if you want to you can stitch it it looks super super cute and then at the eight and a half inch side you score it at one inch and you score it at two and a half and you do that for both sides one and two and a half so what's gonna look what's gonna happen is it's gonna look like this make sure you condition your paper this is what it's going to look like. So if you're going to be sending this, this is what it's going to look like. If you're going to be sending this using the small flat rate um, USPS box, make sure that you kind of be mindful of where it's going to go because it has to be folded. This is not going to fit if you're going to fold it. I mean, just be mindful because you want it to be able to fold and yeah if you're gonna give it in person that doesn't matter and you can always adjust the size and the height of the handle if you wanted to that's your prerogative if you wanted to um but i'm okay with this because this one is not going to go in the usps box but just be mindful i just want to tell you that tip if you are actually sending it using the small usps box please 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 do not forget to Kind of adjust how you're going to be folding your handles because it matters it totally totally matters so we've glued that i'm going to just snip this one and don't forget that the open side is going to be showing in the back and the closed side the folded side is going to be your front just like this this is your front and this is your back portion. I hope that makes sense. So you attach it right here. And let me glue that really quick. I just, I like to use my glue gun because it is super easy. And it dries fast. And then this is where I'm going to put it. I just want to make sure that the space between here... And this one here is symmetrical. That guarantees that your handle is all right. Kind of approximated. That's fine also. So cute. Just like that. And then we're going to decorate it with these. You can just use stickers if you wanted to. These, everything here that I have in my desk is from 3craftchicks.com. You can use my coupon code um, Christian10. And I know that these are all still available in their website. Um, I, I think I want to put this one on, on paper. Just so it's sturdy so I can pop it up. I think that will be super cute to create kind of a scene for your embellishments. Let's see what we have. This one. And then I would love cake. Cake perhaps would be super super cute in the scene and a friend right here with a trumpet kind of I'm trying to make a scene for for this for this embellishment right there I think that's super cute and then she's gonna he's gonna have his bone hanging out right here and I'm gonna put some cupcakes I think that is super, super cute. And then I'm going to fussy cut this one so that 
we have an amazing scene and it's gonna be super fun um yeah i think the ball is cute there okay so i'm gonna fussy cut this i'll be back So guys, this is our finished product. Um, I just made it super, super simple. It's very flat. Um, you can make it like as dimensional as you want. And then I took the liberty of filling it with some goodies. Wouldn't this be so, so sweet? Um, like filling it with different embellishments or like erasers or charms. If you are having like an embellishment swap, I think it's going to be super, super cute. You can add whatever you want. You can even add edible stuff like cookies, chocolates, and everything. Like uh, technically anything you want. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, you guys. Um, this is what I made during the live and I filled it with embellishments also. And then this one I did offline. And I added some Nouveau drops for like the, the green goo right there. And then I used this KS Crafts cauldron. And this is also a KS Crafts um, Halloween uh, sentiments so these are all the varieties that we created one for halloween one for christmas and even a super cute one for birthday i hope you enjoyed this tutorial let me know down below if you have any questions i hope everything was clear and um i hope you subscribe to my um, channel that would be super super awesome thank you so much if you've already subscribed and i absolutely appreciate it anywho that is it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed thank you so much you guys and have a wonderful crafty day this is christian signing off bye guys